Alrighty folks, it's your boy Seppo Boy here, coming at you. <laughs> coming at you guys with another vlog. Another vlog with Hanna with me, and she's gonna be helping me make frisbees today. Well, we're not actually making frisbees, where I bought some color powder things. I don't really know what these are called, but we're gonna be dyeing discs with the beard shaving cream technique. I know kind of how it works, but we're gonna kind of learn as we go and we're trying to let you guys know what to do and what not to do maybe. Let's just get right into it. We are gonna be dyeing two D model OS discs. We're gonna dye one FX2 in 400G plastic and one M model S. And these are Duraflex plastic. I do not know how these are gonna work with the dye. I have not seen anybody dye this yet. The first thing is we're gonna put the shaving cream into this frisbee. You can also use anything else that is a little bit deeper dish like this. And uh, we're gonna basically fill the frisbee with the shaving cream. <laughs> I got some notes from my friend who has done this few times. I actually have done this once with him, but it's over a year ago, so I don't remember exactly how it works. But when you have the cream here on the frisbee, you just evenly spread it throughout the disc, and it seems like I don't have enough, so we're gonna have to put some more. And uh, when you have enough, you're gonna add some water in it, because you want it to be a little bit more runny than it is now here in the mix to make it a little bit more runny. We have now both uh, evenly spread the shaving cream on our frisbees and now we emptied out our colors into these Ziploc bags so we can easily seal them again and our colors are orange, yellow, blue, purple and red. And next thing is that we're basically gonna very gently gonna spread some of this dust here the way we want. We could do some shapes, we could do some portions of different colors. And I'm even gonna try to blow some of the color through this toilet paper row into the middle and outside do a different color. And at the end I'm gonna try and spread the color do little lines with this uh, toothpick thing. So yeah, let's see what we're gonna do. So I'm taking the color here from the back, from the back end of this fork, and I barely have any of it here like this. That's even too much. And you're gonna go and gently blow the color here on the frisbee. Or maybe blowing is not the right thing. Maybe I'll try to shake it here a little bit. That's a lot. That's way too much. But maybe I'll go like... That in the middle. And that's plenty. That really is... It doesn't look like anything. But it is a lot. And then I'm gonna go with... Actually, the blue was turquoise. So, kind of the same color as my shirt. Put the turquoise color on the outside of that. Actually, I think we did blow it last time. I think I have a pretty good amount of color there. And now I'll try to put some lines in there with the stick, not a toothpick. And uh, let's see. I have really no idea what's gonna happen, but we will see. And now I'm gonna place the frisbee here Try to hit the middle of my shape here with the middle of the frisbee 
and uh, just gently place it there. And now the idea is that the disc slowly sinks into the cream and the colors spread into the disc and make a shape out of that. Really we just wait now and see what happens. So Hanna made a shape like that, kind of like a star in the middle there. Let's mm. see this. Let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see this. We have the shaving cream ready on our discs now. And we're about to do our second discs. We have our first discs waiting already there on the side. And I'm gonna do purple and orange for my second disc. What about you, Hanna? Maybe yellow, red and orange. Three colors. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Hanna doesn't want to talk on the blog, especially in English, but I put her in the spot now and she can speak very good English. This is our current station. We have the M model S. D model OS times two and the FX2. And we're gonna wait here for about a couple hours or at least an hour. I was told that you wanna wait from zero to eight hours depending on how much you want the color to be stuck in the disc. But we're gonna wait probably at least an hour. So here is the first one I did. I'm gonna take this out first because I think I put a little bit too much color on this. So I'll just take that one out and let the rest sit here for a little bit longer. Nothing happened with this. I think I was either too fast or we did something else wrong, but it has a little bit of color. <laughs> Okay, here is the first one that Hanna made. This is the M model S. We are probably three hours after doing this. Ooh, nice, wow. This is very cool. So Hanna was going for yellow and purple. She did the shape on this, but it didn't, you can't really see those lines. Or I'm not sure if it was on this, Maybe it was on the second one. Two or three. Okay. But nonetheless, this is awesome and definitely going into my bag. Please. Then. Okay, this is my second one that I did. This is the D model OS. Nice. I did purple and orange, half and half. And seems like it turned out pretty good. Is there? Yeah. Hanna put orange, red, and yellow on this one. Let's see if we can separate all those three colors. Oh, that that's looking like <laughs> a lot of red and some yellow. I think it's still very cool. We are actually giving this away. So comment on this video which one of these was your favorite dye and have a chance to win this. Also like the video, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye -bye.